Hello everyone, uh, welcome to uh, my second tarot video. Um, as I said in my previous one, I filmed this back to back so um, I've still got the same cup of tea. Um, but in this video I wanted to tell you a little bit about how I've been um, studying uh, the tarot for the last well, month and a bit. It's been now a month and a half now, a little bit longer because I started around about Christmas. Uh, I started doing daily drawings. Um, once again, for those who maybe haven't watched the previous video, I use the um, Gilded Tarot. It's like um, uh, artwork-wise, it's not the most stunning visually or anything like that. Although I do like uh, this one, the Ten of Pentacles. I had to check then. I like that little mouse or whatever it is up there looking all like happy and yeah had a good day then and the little tortoise there um it's one of my favorite cards um and um but like i said the the pictures are very clear the the color coordinated i'm trying to look for another one this one reminds me of a um, theme park in Holland that I used to work in at. Um, yeah, it reminds me of one of the fairy tale, um, is it, C yeah, Cinderella in it? The one who sleeps in her castle. Um, he reminds me of one of the bakers that are at the back snoring away. Um, can't really find any other cards to show you at the minute um but yeah this is the deck i use i do a um one card draw every day um and then this is my journal uh it's a belief journal i got it off ebay um it says right here it's embossed um Believe, I believe, that the most beautiful thing is worth waiting and the sweetest fruit needs patience. I don't really look at that, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, what I do is I, I do my uh, daily draw. Then I put, like, the date. Uh, I put the name of the card, obviously. I journal about it. Um, I look it up in... Oops the uh, guidebook that came with the cards obviously um, and this is quite uh, like it's, it's one page per card um, but it tells you quite a bit about the cards so that's really nice um, so I'll write that down in my journal and then I'll go to this huge book um, around the tarot in 78 days uh, and I look up the card and what it says about the card. It has an affirmation for each card, a meditation, uh, it goes into numerology, astrology and the Kabbalah, 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 I don't know. Um, then how to look like a little bit about the card and then it has um, all the different um, meanings that the card can have um, career financial health wise relationships travel and lifestyle education spiritual awareness and self-development then it also has a section where it says you are blocking this card today by doing this that that or that you are connecting to your card by doing this um, and then it says oh this is um, uh, the Hierophant um, you the Hierophant as an example, you're blocking this card today by reading celebrity gossip, going on a protest march, being rebellious, speaking your mind regardless of what people may think or feel, right? But you connect to your card by attending a class, learn something traditional, go visit your parents, visit a religious location. Uh, and then it says, um, the Hierophant says, uh, so there's a little bit of what the card would tell you and then it has all the keywords for 
the card. And it has that for obviously every single card in the um in the deck. Uh and it has a lot more information, all kinds of spreads in there. Um yeah, lots of background information that you might be interested in. I haven't followed the uh, 78 days yet. Um, what I have been doing, however, um, and I'll show you in my journal as well, um, on page 11, it has the Tarot Tree of Life. Uh, at the top there's aces, uh, queens and threes, kings and twos, fives, fours, knights and sixes, eights, sevens, nines, tens and pages, and then it has all the other cards in between, right? So what I've been doing, because I like keeping track of things, so what I did was scan that page, printed it off, and for every time, I don't know if you can see it, but every time I get a card, I put a dot. So over time, I know how often I get what card. Well, not exactly what card, because the number cards are... Um, like, it just says twos, and it just... And the, um, the court cards doesn't say what suit they are. So, um, but yeah, still very interesting. What I also do is keep track of the cards that I've... Uh, got for each day um, and I colour co color coordinate them um, I don't put exactly what card but I put the suit and for call cards I put C obviously um, so yeah just a bit of keeping track I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that information but um, yeah I've been really enjoying this um, oh and I'll just show you this is how I keep the information on the cards. Um, I've scanned in all my cards. Then Lovely Ty helped me out to make them tiny. Printed them off. We tried using um, sticky back paper first, like uh, sticker paper. Yeah, the printer didn't exactly like that, so that didn't work. Um, so we just printed it off in no with normal on normal paper. And um, I cut them all out, put them uh, on there with um, double-sided tape. And this is what I'm doing. I've got um, on the top, I've got sort of like the, the um, keywords and sort of short phrases of what's in the guidebook that came with the cards. And then I put the, um, uh, the affirmation or the uh, quote or both. Um, from that big book if you like and then all of those like the career the health the relationship blah 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 uh, and how to connect to the card and then i haven't got my phone here do i hang on did you hear those old bones um and then um, I've got a couple of, I told you I'm, I'm really getting into this now, um, I've got a couple of tarot apps as well. Uh, I'm currently working my way through the a Wildwood tarot book that's on the app. Uh, but I've also got the Bonefire, the Tarot Mucha, Mucha, I don't know, and the Fairy Tale Tarot. Um, but what I've been using in my journal is the gypsy palace tarot now if you do, are not familiar with the gypsy palace tarot it's i love them i love those cards they're so colorful um what do we have hierophant wasn't it this is the hierophant card then you click on it to get all the info so Hierophant, religion, tradition, beliefs, faith, and then there's a whole bit about them, about the card, and then it has questions at the bottom. And then there's a further Hierophant has got, what is central to what I believe? 
and do I believe in myself and my ability to receive guidance from above? So that are good questions to um, ask yourself when you've got those that card um, and to journal about. And I'm really enjoying um, combining those two things, like the cards that I've that I've drawn um, from my deck and the information that I get from there, and then um, comparing it to some of the apps that I've got. Um, and because uh, you gain more information that way um, and you learn more and those questions are really really helpful as well um, because there's no questions in that book in those books the books tell you um, and give you like keywords and key phrases but not um, not the questions to make you think a bit more I don't know um, yeah, so that's what I've been doing. Um, I think because I've um, set up. Oh, and I've printed off the cheat sheet cheat sheets that came in that big book as well, um, where it has all the information about the minor arcana and the major arcana. Um, so, and I've put those in my book as well. Um, on this bit, I've set myself up for uh, four months of daily draws where I want to use, definitely want to use this deck um, just so I can get the, um, like I, I get some foundation um, on the tarot. Um, yeah, so I'm definitely doing that. Um, I'm, I also do a um, three week, uh, three week, a three card spread. I will get my words out um, for the week every week. Um, I don't really do all that much with it other than like pulling the three cards and then seeing what, you know, what lies ahead perhaps um, and um, what to look out for that week and to refer back to. Um, but I don't really like during the um, oh how do I <laughs> like when I, I draw my day card I don't then go back to my week and go oh for my uh, Monday Tuesday I had the king of wands um, I've now got the three of cups how do those two relate um, but maybe that should be something I should be looking into uh, to sort of further that a little bit. Mm. Although saying that, the year ahead spread that I will be doing kind of looks into that. It will, um, I will then combine my card for the year, my card for the month, and my card for the, um, for the day. Um, yeah. I think that's it for today. <laughs> I've been doing uh, a couple of videos back to back, so um, yeah, it's time to stop filming. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you have any comments or questions, let me know. Uh, yeah, and I'm looking forward to uh, doing some more videos on this topic. Um, it still feels a bit weird, but uh, yeah. And, and very much looking forward to watching more of your videos because there's so many people out there who do tarot videos. You could be on YouTube all day long and not get bored um, watching so many. So, um, yeah, that's it for me for today. Um, I hope to see you very soon. Bye-bye.